Sorry, that's ain't open yet. The door is open. Yeah, but the cafe is open. Give us a few minutes, all right. You're open. Oi, stay down. Sit down, push. Look, we're not open yet. I'm not the violent person. My friend, the crusher, is the violent person. <laughs> Impressive, that, isn't it? <sighs> Catches everyone by surprise. But you should see what he can do with heads. Leave him alone, please, leave him alone. What do you want? Don't overdo it, Crusher. It's a question the man is entitled to ask. Yes, sir. We're acting as agents on behalf of Mr. Jesper Scanner, who is offering a new enabled scheme to tradesmen of the minority persuasion, particularly aimed at integrating them into the cultural majority. We live in a desperately racist society. No doubt you've noticed this, sir. I've suffered myself. This may surprise you, but I have suffered, particularly when a boy an unfortunate trick of colouring and feature, giving me a somewhat Hebrew cast of appearance. Sufficiently so that the yobs of my youthful day sought constant pleasure in bouncing my head along a wall. So I know. Believe me. I know what our immigrant friends go through. Now, thank God, Mr. Scammer is going to eliminate all this. Eliminate petrol poured through letterboxes. Excrement smeared on door handles. Racist abuse daubed on walls and windows. But this will inevitably incur some heavy expenses. So as a result of a poll taken throughout the neighborhood shops, there is a general consensus, or unanimous if the truth were known, that Mr. Scannell will be properly reimbursed in the matter of these expenses. Not an exorbitant amount. A sum in the region of 10 pounds per week has been mooted. Well within the limits of personal generosity, wouldn't you say? Therefore, <laughs> shall I rip his tongue out? <laughs> Not just yet, Crusher. Ali, be quiet. Do you have any children, madam? What? Do you have any kids? Did have. Did have? Yeah. Died. Do you hope for more? <laughs> we may do. In which case... Two things are necessary. First, the man of the house shouldn't suffer some ghastly accident, which would make the fathering of children impossible. For instance, the crusher here can crush parts other hands can't reach. Second, kids need peace and quiet if they're to grow straight, strong, and devoid of racial harassment. And what chance have you if you're a wop or a packy, a coon or a Jew? What chance have you of living a peaceful life? None at all, unless you subscribe to Mr. Scannell's scheme. I'll have the law on the you. The police can't live with you, sunshine. And accidents, by their very nature, are hard to prevent. Now think it over for 24 hours. I'm quite sure you'll appreciate the value of the scheme. I must say, I hate to leave. I find you such nice people. And judging by the way he's fondling your arm, so does Crusher. You should release him now, Crusher, otherwise his hand will rot. <laughs> there we are. That's much better, isn't it? Well, goodbye for now. I just know you will value our offer. Right. We'll tell the police then, yeah? Wrong. We don't tell no one. Do you hear? No one. Right. I don't want this calf going up in smoke with me inside it. Or you coming home dead on a stretcher, right? Right. We keep it to ourselves. We manage this by ourselves. OK. Right. We'd better get ready then, yeah? Yeah, we better head. And we're going to have to work twice mm. as hard. We've got two more mouths to feed. place redecorated, don't we? She's never going to be ready. No, look, one thing FLA has got is character. She comes through, like in the old films. Yeah, they don't make those old films anymore, though, love, do Yeah, well, don't tell her all that, will you? <laughs> yeah, look, can't we leave the dance alone for a while, eh? Do you mind? This is a very important match. Yeah, but Ethel should be cleaning and you're supposed to be bottling up. All right, darling, in a minute. Don't make a fuss. 
Yeah, but I've got a job to do. We've all got jobs to do. All right, in a minute. All right, then. Don't blame me. What is this, dear? Eric Bristow School of Darks. Excuse me, Maureen Flower. <laughs> I've got a little letter, have we, in secret handwriting? Oh, must be an early Valentine, eh? Well, aren't you going to open it? No, I like to open my mail in private. Oh, do you? Well, I don't mind reading my bills in public. Off you go, then. Oh, mind that for. Ready, ready, off. Always from the Marriage Guidance Council. I've got an appointment. When? 4th of Feb. What's today? Uh, 23rd of Jan. That's the 30th of... Oh, that's two weeks. That's all right, then, isn't it? Well, they'll sort it out, will they, Mum? Oh, I hope so, darling. But you mustn't hope for the moon. Even a marriage guidance council can't help if your dad's not there, can they? Well, why go, then? Well, to comfort myself, I suppose. Mm. Got a pain in my shoulder, and I'm right up to my neck. Have you, darling? How'd you get that? Tense, I suppose. Girl, your age shouldn't be tense. Well, I am. Well, sit here, then. Oh, there. That better? Mm. Season out a bit. Come on. Hello? Uh, wrong number. For me? For no one. No one? Wrong number. Oh, this is nonsense. What is? Behaving like this. What? Like this. I'm not behaving. You know what I mean? I Devs. I want to make peace, love. God, what are we doing to each other? I wish I knew. Look, we owe each other something more than this. Yes, you're right, we do. Let's take things easy for a while, eh? Let's not argue about everything, eh? We're not happy, we know that. Let's just accept things with the way they are, eh? See what happens, OK? OK. Oh, morning. Look, I was hoping to bump into you today. I really enjoyed myself. It was great food, great company. <laughs> Thanks. Listen, I was thinking, I mean, it's just an idea, but I would like to return the compliment. Oh, there's no need. No, 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 I'd like to. I mean, I can't offer you home cooking or anything like that. I mean, police accommodation, you know. But I'd like to take you out. Uh, both of you, of course. To the wine bar, perhaps. Have a meal. I would love to. When? Uh, well, next Wednesday? Lovely. Can't. Andy. Come on duty, love. Well, another night, then. No free nights for months. Oh, yes, I see. Well, it was just a thought, you know. Well, I can still go. Can you? Yes. Well, if you don't mind, just me. No, 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 it's great. Fine. Well, look, uh, next Wednesday, say, 7 o'clock, put it in your diary. OK, I will. See you then. Yep. Bye, Andy. Are you really working? Yeah. Oh, pity. Yeah. Do my washing for me, please. I'm rushed on my feet. Yeah, of course. I'll get you a ticket. No, I'm not. A favour. Will you? Do me a favour. If I can. Talk to Saeed, brother. He's refused our offer. Oh, talk to him. Look, it's a good offer. It's the most we can afford. I mean, it is a good offer. He wouldn't be robbed if he took it. It wouldn't do any good, Sue. He won't listen to me. He listens to no one when it comes to money. He'll want every last pence he can get for that place. And he'll wait a year if he has to. Good morning, all. Sorry. Morning. Hello. How are we all this morning? Bright and breezy. Oh, something good's obviously happened to you today. Yes, I think it has. Spring's on the way. I can feel it in the air. <laughs> Come on, sourpuss. Stick out the dirty washing. Oh, sorry to trouble you both again. I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. I forgot to give you these. Just a little token of my appreciation. They're for the kittens. There we are. One for Starsky, one for Hutch. Oh, Andy, look at me. Love you. Mm. Right. It's not presents for cats we want. We want protection from gangsters. What? All right, now just hang about, will you? I've been threatened. Two men want money from me and he won't do anything about it. Look, as How soon can as... How you say that? That's my experience. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, when will you do something? When I've got something to go on. My word isn't good enough. No, I'm not saying that. Oh, I see. I imagined it all, did I? Silly little immigrant. Now, don't put words in my mouth. Look, I need something concrete to go on. For instance, has anyone else been threatened? Not as far as I know. Okay, okay. Now look, I'll keep my eyes open, I promise. That's all I can do. But you must let me know if it happens again, or if it happens to anyone else. All right? 
Right, well, for now then, cheers. That was unfair. He won't do anything about it. He does need proof. He has got proof, me. This bit is also vague. The men weren't vague. They were horrible. Wait till I finish my self-defence course, then they'll all get a shock. Well, I bet he's hand in glove with them. That's an awful thing to say. It happens, love. Oh, you're just being stupid and jealous. Jealous? Mm. It's got nothing to do with being jealous. It's just that whenever he comes in, love, you push me away to one side. It's not fair, love, and you know that. You need me at the moment, and you know you need me. Need you? Yeah, need me. You need me emotionally, you need me economically, you're out of work, you're in debt, and I'm paying for all the bills at the moment. It's all bloody wrong to treat me like this. No, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. The day started out so quietly. I am sorry to interrupt the good work, Ethel, but I have customers waiting to get on that board. Oh, just a minute, then, just a minute. I'm nearly there. No, Ethel, you're not nearly there. You're barely in the same room. Shh. I've got my concentration. Ethel, I've got customers. Oh, just another five minutes, then. No more, I promise. Sorry, lads. Oh, I'll get her off in a minute, then. Nah, leave her there. It's all in the good cause. If you can get three darts in that ball by the end of the day, it'd been worth it. Yeah, you feeling all right? Never felt better. I was upset too, you know. Oh, were you? Yeah, of course I was. So would you be? Oh, would I? Yeah. First of all, we have our off the sides flat turned down. No discussions, nothing. I mean, I don't know what to do. We're putting a good price, more than we can afford. I just don't know what to do about it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Hey, listen, though. An idea. Go for a short-term let. You know, could take him a year for him to get his price for the place, so he's got a choice. Keep the place empty and have vandals in the woodwork, or let it out for six months or something. Be a start, wouldn't it? Hey, great idea, Times. Thanks. Oh, look, I got two in the ten. Well done, Ethel. Well done. It's no good, is it? She's a disaster. We can't have her in the team. It's no good unless their number five's as blind as a bat. I still wouldn't bet on Ethel. Lofty, we cannot have her in the team. Well, at least she's found where the board is now. She's a disaster. Well, don't blame me. I'll get it, I'll, I'll get, get it. it. Hello, Queen Vic. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry, lady. There's nobody that name here, no. Yeah, well, it ain't my fault. I'm beginning to think we've got a party line. Mr. Ali Osman, do you remember? Yeah, right. Yeah, I know, but it's as much as we can go. Does it interest you at all? OK. Well, in that case, I was wondering, well, you know, you might have trouble selling it. I'm not saying you will, but you might do. And would you consider a short-term net of some sort? Oh, that'd be up to you. You would? Great. OK. Hear yeah, from you then, eh? No good, Sue. I'm not taking no for an answer. You've got to play darts, babe. I don't want to play tonight. It's got past once, sweetheart. Uh, Ethel's thrown a million darts. Only two of them have hit the board. You've got to play. I don't want to play. Oh, come on, Sue. We need you. Look, it's Queen and Country now. If Ethel plays, the old square will be a laughing stock. You can't let that happen. Yeah. I can't stand anymore. If Ethel throws one more dart, I'm going to throw up. I'll have a word with her, Ange. There's nothing to talk come about. Come here. I'm not Shut up, play. will you? Now listen, I just had a word with Sige's brother about the flat. Mm -hmm. I asked him if he was interested in a short-term let. He said he hadn't thought about it, but he's thinking about it now. What, you mean you might rent it to us? He's just thinking about it, so he's made no promises, oh. but at least he's thinking what, about anything? it. Oh, God, anything. Now, come on, cheer up. Life isn't over yet. You play that darts match? Oh, no, I couldn't. Come on, Sue, do the world of good. You'll enjoy yourself. Oh, all right, I'll Great. Play. Right, Ange, you got your darts, Steve. Oh, oh nice one, Sue. I love you. <laughs> Ali, thanks a million. You won't regret yeah. this, babe. No. Now, am I going to tell Ethel she's been dropped? What are you doing here? Wanted a cami. Aren't well, you supposed to be in bed in hospital or something? I'm all right. Go on, how'd it happen? I don't remember. What? You heard. Yeah, I heard, but I don't believe you. What do I care? 
Look, Cassie, you broke your arm and you can't remember how you did it. I fell. There you are. You fell? Yeah, maybe. Maybe? I fell. Cassie. I fell. How? Tripped over the cat. You haven't got a cat. I just fell. I fell, broke my arm. What more do you want? Nothing. Leave me alone. All right. You want a cup of tea? Yeah. Where's Dad? Dad at Paul and Arthur's doing the job. Yeah, well, get me tea. All right. Take it easy. It's a big mistake. Pull out the pull. Give your mum that bell. Pull it. She'll have us running backwards and forwards morning till night. Yeah, I know you're right, now. I know you're right, but it makes me feel easier. With the telly on in there and everyone talking at once, you wouldn't hear a fire engine if it passed through the kitchen. I'm not saying you're wrong, but who's the one who's going to answer it, eh? Me. When she uses up the one, she's going to love it. She's going to love the power. We'll get a moment's peace. Just in case of accidents, love. It'd be terrible if something was going on and we didn't hear it. Anyway, she might never need it. Oh, you must be joking. Well, she'd give me a hard time, she did. I mean, what she wants a bell for? The last thing in the world she wants is a bell. Mm, not the only one. Everybody should have a bell. Hello. Got Andrea yeah. in for a cuppa. Oh. She needs it more than that. She needs calming down. Yeah. Oh, well, we don't Come mind, do you? you want more tea, Tom? Oh, yeah. Did we ever need to get away from Ethel's dark press? How's yeah. she doing? Hard to no. say without insulting her. <laughs> she thinks she's improving hand over fist. Yeah, the trouble is, I've got Sue back on the team now, and I don't want to upset Ethel, do I? No. Sooner you than me, mate. Yeah, I know. I'll have to think of something. Well, that's the thing of being a captain, isn't it, Ed? Yeah. Cheers, Alpha. Thanks for your help. Here, Arthur, can I have a word with me, Dad? Yeah, he's in there. Well, I can have a private word in here, please. Yeah, all right, I'll get it. Hey, Tone, it's your boy, Kelvin. He wants a word with you in the kitchen. Oh, now what's happened? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, no. Uh, it's... it's Cassie. She's over at the flat. I thought she was in bed. Yeah, well, so did I, but she's not. She's over there dead, and something's wrong. I know there is. What? Well, I don't know. OK, I'll just get my tools and come straight across. You're going back now. All right. Yeah, well, uh, gotta go, folks. Just get my tools, and I'll be on my way. Uh, there's nothing wrong, is there, Tone? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Well, it works. All right, now, feet steady on the floor, right. eh? Right. No jerks in your body action. No. Nope. You've got to keep it smooth in your throwing arm. A good, steady action, right? Yes. Go on, then. Oh! Oh. Sorry, Lofty. <clears throat> you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm pleased my reactions are still in working order. Go on, go on. Good. She's not telling the truth, Dad. Something's happened and she's not telling us. Nothing happened. How did you break your arm, Cassie? Tell me exactly. I was running. I slipped and fell. Where were you running? At home. At home? Why were you running at home? I felt like it. She's not telling us everything, Dad. Yes, I am. Right. Keep an eye on her, Kevin. I'm going to ring your mum to find out what she has to say. I told you what happened. Then your mum will say the same thing, right? Right. Keep her here, Kelvin. Cassie, it takes a while to get in touch with your mum sometimes, but I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh. <coughs> um. uh, <clears throat> sorry, Angie. Yeah, look, being coach and manager at the Ethel's a bit like hard work. Mm. Sue's gonna play. Oh, is she? So we can drop Ethel. We? You drop Ethel, eh? Feeling better, Lofty? Uh, Ethel, darling. Yeah, just watch this, Angie. I'm really getting it. I am really getting it. You've got to tell her, Angie. This is killing me. I know. You're right. Ethel, sweetheart, Shh. now listen, now, listen. My concentration. All right, feet steady. Yeah. No, look, don't jerk. You, you, you're never satisfied, are you? Well, if you think you can do it and you're so smart, then. Well, no, it's more a question of doing well, what I say, not doing what I do. Oh, you're all talk, aren't you? Well, uh, yeah, all right. Well, uh, I weren't all that good at weapons, but I understand the in principle, In case right? it's escaped anyone's attention, we're supposed to be opening up in 30 minutes. Yeah, right, in a minute. Lofty! Oh, oh, sorry, oh, 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 sorry, oh, 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 sorry, oh, yeah. It's all right, It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, 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 I'm unhappy about this, Angie. Oh, no, darling, I would be if it was my Roly. Well, I never thought little Willie would be at risk. 
Well, I'm sorry. I really am sorry, Angie, but... I'll have to resign. Resign? Yes, well, I know you were banking on me, and I'm terribly sorry to let you down, but Willie comes first. I mean, I can't put his life in jeopardy, can I? No, no. I mean, I'd no. be so sorry to lose you, Ethel, but if Willie's life's in jeopardy, well, that's the way it's got to be, isn't yes. it, girl? Yes. I'll tell you what. i tell you what. I've had a brilliant idea. Why don't you be our scorer? That way you can stay in the team and still keep an eye on little Willie. Scorer? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I might like that. I've always thought that's where my strength lies. You know, responsibility without position. Absolutely. Well, that settled it, any girl. Good. <laughs> Cheers, Lofty. For what? All right, then, I've got it. Hello? Charming, just hang up on me. Oh. Mr. Mum, but left a message. She'd phone me later at the pub. Right, go up. Some fish and chips for me. Fish and chips for you, Cassie. Saveloy and chips for you, Kevin. I want a saveloy. I've only got one saveloy. I'll have fish. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. There's a saveloy. phone call from Jan the last few days. She promised to ring me without fail. Yeah, they ain't open. Yeah, she's upset. I know she is. She's been complaining. I ain't seen her enough. I think she's getting cheesed off. 60. One, two, one. I'm boring you. What? I'm boring you. What do you mean? No. No, you're not, mate. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, sorry, mate. I was concentrating on the dance. What did you say? I said Anne ought to get her finger out, otherwise she's going to get whitewashed. Yeah, too true, mate. Too true. Come on, Anne. Come on, Angie, girl. You can do it, old girl. Come on. Oh. Next time, now. Come on. Hello, Queen Vic. Hello. Tom. Oh, come on, that's one, Anne. Come on, Angie. Come on, Angie. Come on, Angie. Come on. No score. Don't oh. you like to see your mum again? No, not particularly. Why not? Well, why have people always got to be seeing their mums? Or their dads, for that matter. Well, you're seeing your dad. Yeah, no, I meant the stepdad. When are you going to see her? Uh, I don't know. Would she like to see you? Well, you'd have to ask her that, wouldn't you? He's definitely oh, up to all this. Up to what? To all these questions. Oi, Dad. What? Have you put Kathy yeah, up to this? Simon. Oh, what? All these questions. What is he talking about, Kathy? Yeah? Ask oh, him, right. Pete. I've got to concentrate on my dance. I was told not to say anything about it. That's why I come here. I was right. Yeah, all right. But Cassie is still not telling me what happened. Neville broke me arm. What? Please don't tell nobody. I said I wouldn't tell nobody. Well, how did he do it? I mean, why did he do it? He said I was naughty. He wanted to beat me. I wouldn't let him, so he pushed me around. He pulled me. Next thing I knew, I was lying on the ground and my arm was broken. Oh, Dad's got to hear about this. Kelvin, no. I said I wouldn't tell. Well, look, you've got to tell him. If you don't, I will. Look, he might do it again. Dad's got to know so he can stop it. Kelvin, I was told not to tell. <laughs> God, I didn't think it would be this bad. It's awful, isn't it? I can just see the glint in Den's eyes. It'll be so smug. Yeah, we're only playing for the company and the fun. Yeah, you try telling him that. Maybe we should have played Ethel after all. Well, if we played the way she's scoring, we'd have won all right, wouldn't we? Tough titty, darling. You were beaten by a better team, but you were not disgraced. I don't believe it. <laughs> Oh, 
Where's Roger? How's your drink? I'd love one. How's the old match going, then? Your mum says it was just an accident. She wasn't there. She says she was. She's lying. Oh, Cassie. Oh, he hit her, Daddy. Knocked her over and broke her arm. Hannah off. denies that. Well, I believe Cassie. Your mum says you were being cheeky, Cassie. Is that right? What's that got to do with it? Shut up, Kelvin. But you can't break a little kid's arm because she's being cheeky. Kelvin. She says Neville tried to slap you and you slipped and you ran away. Is that right? Your mum says so. But do you say so? Tell me the truth, Cassie. And if that man has laid a hand on you in such a way as to break your arm, then you'll have me to answer to. Look, she's told you all that. Just get round there and sort him out. What more do you want? I need proof, Calvin. I need to know the truth before I go around threatening anyone. Believe me, if that man has done this, I'll sort him out. No way will he get away with this. But I need to know the truth. Can get into big trouble if I haven't got a case. So tell me, Cassie, what happened? It was an accident, like Mum said. And why did you say he did it deliberately? I don't know. Oh, Cassie. That sort of talk is dangerous. Can cause all sorts of trouble. Sorry. She's lying. You're lying, aren't you, Cassie? I believe you. I believe everything that you've said. Kelvin, that's enough. Leave it for a while. For some reason of her own, Cassie's been exaggerating, but we'd leave it like that for now. Your mother is coming around to take her home, and we can all hear what she has to say.